Hello, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com and in this new video series we are going to be creating a website using a new released, actually new stable release of October CMS. In this first episode I'm just going to show you how you can install October CMS on your local system and then we'll go from there. But we, before we begin with all of that, I'm just going to take a few seconds or minutes to talk about October CMS. So October CMS is a CMS based on a Laravel framework. It's a bit different from Laravel, uh, the way you work with it, but I think anyone that is familiar with Laravel will be familiar with October once they start using it and uh, figure out some of the uh, October's concepts. I've been a big fan of Laravel framework for the last six months and I wanted a CMS that is based on that framework and along came October. Actually I've been watching the development of October for at least two years and uh, quite recently they got this stable release so I decided to make this video series. So the stable release of October was July 2nd 2016 so quite recently let's check out some stats so it has around uh, 100,000 installations but I don't think these numbers are correct uh, so as you can see it has 289 plugins but the last time I checked the plugins page I think it was more around 500 not 300 uh, it has uh, 15,000 projects started it has some themes and so on so I've been using it for the last week, I've been playing with it and I must say it's a great CMS. First thing you need to know about October is that it is made for developers. So there will not be so much clicking as it would be uh, in something like WordPress or Drupal or uh, Joomla or something like that. Uh, you do most of the stuff in, uh, in your code editor but also uh, October has this great plugin called the Builder so it will uh, scaffold the plugins for you so it will make database migrations and so on it's pretty cool uh, and uh, we will definitely be using Builder in this series also let's just uh, check out the reasons to use it so it's simplistic so once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple to use it, but until you do, it's not that simplistic. It's modern, that's definitely uh, sure, so it's based on Laravel framework, and uh, Laravel framework is on the cutting edge of web development uh, right now. So it's made for people, it's universal, and so on, all of these buzzwords. As you will see, uh, in this series we will be creating plugins for October because there are the main building blocks actually of October CMS we will learn how to install plugins how to install October itself we will create a theme we will use that theme and so on so I hope you are excited uh, with October as I am you can also check this video intro and find some others on the internet uh, to see if you like it but I think you would like this CMS very much especially if you're like me and like to do everything using your code editor instead of going uh, through the administration and just clicking on stuff also one more thing about that so it is made for developers to develop it but you can easily make October CMS uh, CMS's backend uh, to be very user-friendly for your clients as you will see uh, in uh, in this video series so you can hide some stuff from the user and just leave the editing of content and so on so I would say uh, for the client for the end user of this product it will be easy as using something like WordPress so you have uh, your what you see what you get editors uh, you have all that stuff, you have uh, media f uh, media finders, uh, you can easily manipulate images and so on. So actually it's a well-rounded new great CMS. It also has a 
let's say relatively big community around it because it is so new but i think people are loving it more and more and i think it's a pretty good uh, competitor to something like wordpress okay so let's install october cms i'm just going to go to docs right here and then you go and set up installation as you can see uh, October CMS has this download the installer archive so they have a wizard for installing uh, October CMS I'm not going to use that wizard I never used it uh, so we are actually going to go and install it via command line so you have this command line installation go to console interface you would have to have a composer installed on your system but if you're doing web development especially PHP web development I hope you have composer already installed if not just search the web for it and that's it so <clears throat> to install it via composer you just do this so you just copy this and I'm uh, since I'm going to be installing this on Vagrant if you want to know more about Vagrant uh, you can set up sites for Vagrant uh, you can check out my video series about that it has three videos and it will show you everything you need to know but uh, first of all I'm just going to SSH into it and I'm go going to go to my public folder and in that folder I'm just going to paste this link but I'm going to use sudo because for some reason on my machine uh, permissions for composer are kind of screwed up so I have to use sudo it's not recommended to do, do that but what can you do and of course since all of my examples when we make something are for movies I'm going to call this project October movies so October movies dev master so you just do sudo composer create project October October then the name of the project so it's going to create directory or a folder for uh, October CMS automatically and it's going to use this dev master branch okay we press enter and wait for a little bit and it will generate uh, a key for your application and that's it now we can just do October movies so CD October movies and right here you have to do PHP artisan October install click that now it uh, asks you for a database type uh, I will actually use SQLite for this uh, video series but you can use MySQL if you want you just create your uh, MySQL database and then it will ask you for uh, uh, for your username, da database name and so on but if you are using SQLite it's a file based database file based database okay uh, so you just get this storage dot uh, actually database SQLite file or something like that so you don't have to have MySQL installed at all so I'm just going to use SQLite for this example database path is going to be storage database SQLite you press enter OK first name Ivan second name email address test.com admin login is going to be admin password is also can stay admin is this information correct yes application URL uh, I will actually do this HTTP October movies dot dev okay uh, configure advanced options no and then it's going to create a migration and that's it now uh, I will in the next video uh, actually not in the next video but behind the scenes I will set up uh, virtual hosts for the next video but in this video we are going to access this application by doing uh, by going to my actually vagrant 
so I'm just going to delete this so my vagrant IP is 192.168.33.10 but if you're using something like Apache uh, actually something like SAMP or WAMP or uh, something like that it will probably be local host for you so October movies October movies in just a second October movies that should be it okay so you get this demo page so that's the first page of your site and if you wanna access the backend you just do backend so not admin not administration but backend go right in here and admin and the password is admin and you can log in to the administration area of October CMS as you can see the installation of uh, CMS of this CMS is actually pretty pretty easy to do uh, as I've said I haven't tried the wizard but the wizard should be probably even simpler and now you have this CMS uh, uh, menu right here media menu settings and so on we will talk all about this in the later episodes but for now we just install October in the next episode I will show you uh, how to create a theme so we are going to be starting creating themes for October uh, CMS right from the start and then we are we will be um, doing our site creating uh, custom post types or plugins and stuff like that okay so this is it for this video thank you guys for watching please follow me on facebook or on twitter if you want i like this video if you liked it uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the content i put out and that's it uh, in the next video we are creating a theme for october cms thank you for watching once again and i'll see you in the next one